Hi everyone, this is Elise from Seed Stars World. We have just finished the pitching event for Dubai. It was a great experience. We had an amazing startups, and here is uh, Raphael from Tourbud, which is the winning startup of the Dubai pitching event. Hi Raphael. Hi. How are you? Fine, thanks. Are you nervous? Are you happy? Uh, are you excited? How shocked. does it feel? More, more shocked? Shock. Because you didn't expect a winning. No. How no. come? Well, uh, I don't know. I've never won this kind of, participated in this kind of competitions and okay. this is the first time and winning in the first time was kind of shocking. So this is great for you yes. to win. Okay, so good motivation to go on with your startup. Definitely. Great. I want to, so let's explain a bit to the viewers what is your startup? What is Tourbud all about? So basically when you're traveling somewhere you sometimes face problems like okay. you're lost mm -hmm. or you cannot explain to the taxi driver where you want to go or you face problems with police mm -hmm. or you just want to ask somebody on the street how to reach a special point or where to go Absolutely. so and for these purposes we created a service which allows you to get a phone number of a local person who will be your phone guide mm -hmm. you will be able to call him basically anytime during the day and ask the question you need it can be like I'm standing in the middle of this street and where can I eat mm -hmm. or it can be could you please explain this taxi driver how to reach this place okay so uh, the key point of the service is that the guides are users of the service also so anybody can be, be there and become a guide and earn money great and when did you found Tourbud? Uh, Tourbud was founded uh, approximately six months ago during months ago. during okay. a course in Master Institute so very very seed seed and seed yes. uh, startup yes. great yes. and um, where have you already tr uh, tried to launch it? Uh, do you already have a network of guides? No, it's still in the development okay. stage. We have only early alpha version of the service. Mm -hmm. And currently we're developing the strategy for marketing and uh, coming up with uh, more ideas for the service. Great. And when do you think you will be able to have the product uh, on uh, the market? I think in one or two months we will be launching the beta, the closed Great. beta only by invites to see how people are using it and to see what people suggest us. Great, so we'll have a cool numbers for the February final uh, event in Switzerland. Yes, yes. Are you happy to be coming in Switzerland? Definitely, I've always wanted to visit that country. Great, and where are you from? I'm originally from Armenia. Armenia, yeah. and how long have you been living in uh, Dubai? Uh, one and a half year, okay. and I'm living in Abu Dhabi. Oh, in Abu Dhabi, yes. true. And how come, uh, was it a professional reason? Was it because uh, it was easier to be an entrepreneur that you came to Dubai, that you made this trip from Armenia to Dubai, or are there other reasons? Uh, I got a scholarship from Master Institute to uh, study at Master's, okay. to get my Master's degree here. Okay, so you're finishing your... Yes, study. this year I'm finishing my Master's. Great, so have you always been an entrepreneur? Is this your first uh, startup? Actually, no. Uh, this is my second startup. Okay. Uh, first startup failed, and after that, I decided to take some courses, especially <laughs> for uh, entrepreneurship and management. Okay. So. And comparing, a, because I imagine the first startup you launched it in Armenia. Yes, we tried to launch it actually in New York from Armenia. That's, okay. Yeah. And uh, for being an entrepreneur in, uh, so you were in New York, you said? Yes. Uh, okay. My friend was in New York, and, and we you were, were launching we with him. Yeah. And uh, being an entrepreneur in the UAE, is it very different? Uh, are you facing many challenges or is it, in, in the contrary, facilitating you as an entrepreneur to go ahead with your project? Uh, I have nothing to, to compare to actually. Okay. But uh, the general feeling about this is that it's much easier here. Okay. Because uh, all the government and the institute by itself is helping you in that okay. case. So they're really here to promote and yes. uh, help you and support you financially and also coaching-wise, consulting-wise? Uh, coaching-wise, consulting-wise. Okay. Financially, I haven't tried that. You haven't that, tried yet? Yes. <laughs> okay. And what did you think of the event? What did you think of the other startups? Uh, had you known th about them before? Was this all uh, new startups for you? Well, uh, one startup I've already heard about it because it was developed during a hackathon. And okay, yeah. my colleagues are actually will be interviewing later. Mm -hmm. And all the other startups, I was just fascinated by the ideas and how people are doing this. And whole event got actually me the knowledge of how people are teaching and how people are uh, presenting their projects. Okay. So I'm very glad that I visited this kind of event. I Great. participated in it. And what are what are you going to do for the next months to be prepared for the final event in uh, February? Defend my thesis. <laughs> <laughs> Finish masters. And sure, develop to a better. To a better. Lunch, the better. 
Great, that would be great. Finally, um, if you could give me one or two words, what does entrepreneur mean to you? Uh, probably the first thing that comes to my mind is taking risks. Taking okay. risks, okay. And uh, as uh, you told before, you already launched your first startup. So for you, also failure, we saw that failure was something that a lot of people were afraid of. Whereas now you kind of cultured it and you accept failure as yes. part of the entrepreneurship life. That's the biggest part, I think, then, of entrepreneurship life because most of the startups fail and you should be prepared for that, okay. that you will probably fail. And mm -hmm. learning from the failure is the best way to learn, I think. Absolutely. Uh, final question. For you, what does uh, Switzerland mean to you? What, what words come to your mind? Uh, beautiful girls. <laughs> Uh, wonderful design and nice country by itself, good economic, with good economics. Great. Well, thank you very much. Thank this you. is Raphael from Tourbud, which was the winning startup for a Dubai pitching event. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.